Hi everyone. So this is the design I came up with for day six of Peachtober. I wanted it to be more graphic, echoing a comic book vibe. I decided to use acrylic inks with this one. These bottles have been in storage for years, so I wasn't even sure if they were still usable. Some of the bottles actually did dry out, and I couldn't even use the eyedropper tool with them. Luckily, you don't need a lot. A drop or two is more than enough. Using acrylic inks is very straightforward. You can either use them directly or use them wet on wet, just like watercolors. There are differences though. For one, acrylic inks dry faster than watercolors, so you will have to work fast. Another thing is that you can't really mix these inks on paper. So if you want to achieve a particular color, you would be better off mixing them ahead of time before applying them. You see me here applying the inks directly. I wasn't really worried about being precise since I knew I was going to go over the drawing with black ink. To get a darker value, I just waited for the first layer to dry and then reapplied a second coat with more pigment. Here's the first few layers of the ink. I know she looks rough, but trust the process, it's gonna work out in the end. For the skin tone, I decided to pre-mix the inks ahead of time before applying them onto the paper. You can go ahead and apply it wet on wet so that it's a lot smoother but I decided to give it this very rough look instead. Another thing I wanted to share with acrylic inks is that they tend to dry lighter if you dilute them with a lot of water. So if you want darker, more vibrant color, use less water.
This is my favorite part of the process, just adding in the black inks. I know I always rave about it, but there's something so satisfying once you see all the blacks added in.
working on this piece was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And it's actually one of my favorites so far in this challenge. Thanks for joining me on this video. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.